In this video, we will go over downloading, installing, and licensing of SitePulse software for an Android device. We will start by going to the Google Play Store and searching for SitePulse. Once you see the Trimble SitePulse software app, you can tap on it to select it. On the Trimble SitePulse software screen, you can scroll down to get more information about the product. To start the installation, just tap on the install button. The installation process will begin and you will get a pop-up showing what items the Trimble SitePulse software needs access to on your Android device. Select Accept to continue the installation process. The downloading process will begin. This could take some time depending on your device and internet speed. We are going to speed up this section of the video to keep this video short. After the download process has been completed, the installation process will begin. This could take some time depending on your device. After the installation process has been completed, you can open the Trimble SitePulse software app by tapping on the Open button. The first time you open SitePulse, you will be taken to the Trimble SitePulse End User License Agreement. At the top of this page, you will have the option to automatically send diagnostic and usage data to Trimble to help with the improvement of the SitePulse app. Read through the license agreement and tap on the Accept button if you accept the terms of the license agreement. The SitePulse software will now open. You can test out the SitePulse software for free by using the internal GPS on your device and the preloaded demo site. To get the demo site to your location, just perform a site calibration. We are now going to go into the settings by tapping on the gear icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen. You will notice our serial number and license status on the left hand side of the settings screen. Our current license status is invalid, so we are going to tap on the Request License button. You may get a pop-up asking for which email client you would like to use. If you do, tap on the email client that you use. In this example, we are using Gmail. You will notice that you already have an email open with information on your device. You are asked to send this email to your site tech dealer. If you don't know who your SciTech dealer is, you can use the dealer locator to find one by copying and pasting the link in the email to a web browser. We will also show you later in this video how to get to the dealer locator from the Trimble website. For this example, I am going to send this email to myself. You will want to type in your SciTech dealer's email address and let them know in the body of the email that you are interested in purchasing a site pulse license. They will then get back with you on the process of purchasing a license. Once you have finished composing your email, just tap on the send button. We will now quickly show you how to get to the dealer locator from the Trimble website and how to use the dealer locator. From the Trimble website, left click on the dealer locator at the top of the page. Next, select construction heavy highway construction for the application in the first box. Then left click on proceed to get to the Trimble heavy and highway dealer locator. In the civil engineering and construction page, left click on locate a civil engineering and construction dealer. Select the location of where you would like to search for a dealer. For this example, we are going to select United States and Colorado, then left click on apply. You will now notice a list of dealers in the area. We will now return to the Site Pulse licensing process. The email has been sent. Once you have purchased the license and your Site Tech dealer has let you know that the license is ready, you can then tap on the download license button. You will notice a pop-up asking you to install the geospatial licensing application. You have to install this application to get your license. Tap on yes to download and install the geospatial licensing application. Depending on your device, you may get a installed block pop-up. If you do, tap on settings to go to your settings screen. Tap on the box next to unknown sources to allow this installation. In the next pop-up, leave the check mark in the box for allow this installation only. That way you will be warned first before installing from any other unknown sources, then tap OK. The next pop-up will let you know what the geospatial licensing application needs access to. 
Tap on the Install button to download and install the Geospatial Licensing application. The installation procedure will begin. Once the installation is complete, tap on the Open button to open the Geospatial Licensing application. Once the application is open, tap on the Get Serial Number button to add your device's serial number. Then tap on the License Online button. Once the licensing is completed, you will notice the status say Licensing Completed. You can now tap on your device's back button to back out of the geospatial licensing application. You will be taken back to the SitePulse app. If you are not, you just have to reopen the SitePulse application and tap on the gear icon. You will notice that the license still says invalid. This is because the settings screen has not updated. Tap on the back button to go back to the map screen. Then select the gear icon to go back to the settings screen. You will now notice that your license says valid. You have now successfully installed and licensed the SitePulse software. You are now ready to start using the SitePulse software. For more training, please visit learn.trimble.com and set up your free account.